tonight, and they are both on the move. Some places which haven't seen much snow so far this winter may end up getting some from this one right here in the middle of the country. Good evening. Welcome to Stormwatch. I'm Dave Schwartz. High pressure and control over the mid-Atlantic, all the uh, whole Atlantic seaboard, and the Rocky Mountains, but there's a storm in between with another one slamming into the Pacific Northwest. We'll talk about both of those here. Let's start here in the Midwest first, and we find that we've got ourselves low pressure at the Nebraska-Kansas border. This storm watch sponsored by State Farm. This area of low pressure and the upper level storm in association with it has already been responsible for 10 inches of snow in western Nebraska here tonight, six inches in Omaha. So virtually the entire Cornhusker state has been covered in a new mantle of snow making travel treacherous here. And it will tomorrow too, then warm up after that. But the snowstorm is now raging into western Iowa and northern Missouri. Snowflakes have just begun to fly in St. Louis. Here's the upper level energy right in here coalescing in eastern Kansas. Bursts of heavy snow from time to time, Wichita, Olathe, and Kansas City. After that, just a few flurries, then we're home free tomorrow. But this storm will be moving across the state of Missouri to the north of the storm, the southern half of Iowa, northern Missouri, and into Illinois. That's where we expect the heaviest snow accumulations for the rest of tonight and tomorrow morning. Here in Omaha, we've had a couple of inches. It continues to snow and blow, too. Those winds are gusting over 20 miles per hour, reducing visibility. Watch the travel on Interstate 35 across Iowa and also Interstate 80. Snow is tapering off here in Nebraska. Still some light snow reported out here at the airport in Omaha, Council Bluffs, and uh, undoubtedly at your place here, too. In Kansas City, we had a few rain and snow showers move through, then a little break, then a little more. It'll be kind of showery here for the rest of the night, but the heaviest amounts of snow will be to the east of Kansas City into Iowa and Missouri. Now, this map is only good through mid-morning Tuesday, so even though we're showing the eastern edge of the snow right up here along the Mississippi River, the Wabash River, the Ohio River, this area will expand southeastward with time. And if you believe one of the computer models just into the Weather Channel, Atlanta, Georgia gets snow tomorrow night. But we'll see exactly the track of this storm. Let's stick with the short term. St. Louis, snow accumulating for the rest of tonight. A slushy, mushy rush hour in Des Moines. A hard pack for tomorrow morning's rush hour. Springfield, Illinois, getting in on an inch or two here tonight. Chicago, Illinois, nothing happening here tonight. No snow, nothing to worry about for tomorrow morning's rush hour. Here in the northwest, we have a couple of waves of low pressure. One is inland in British Columbia, dragging a cold front, Washington and Oregon. Another area of low pressure is here. Now, as this low is approaching us, the winds got very strong along the coast. Fortunately, they're winding down right now, but as this low approaches here tomorrow, there will be some more gale and even storm force winds. So, storm number one. And storm number two with attend attendant rain showers in the foothills east of Seattle. Raining in Portland and out into Troutdale and out toward Hood River right now. But it's snowing up there in the mountains. And we've had, we've been hit so hard so far this season. Flood watches are in effect for a couple of rivers in northwestern Oregon. And there's your snow as you head through the passes in Washington, Oregon, and across the northern Rockies. So we've got two storms and they are both moving east. The storm in the middle of the country is moving into some very cold air, which could make life very interesting along the mid-Atlantic later this week. The central U.S. is the scene of a winter snowstorm. Find out if and how you'll be affected. Plus, more on the bitter cold and the stormy northwest just ahead on Weather Center.